Good evening. Welcome. On behalf of the Artists Association of Nantucket and the Nantucket Athenaeum, welcome. And uh, it's so lovely to see you all. My name is Amy Janess. I'm programming coordinator here at the library. And my compatriot over here, Liz Hunt from the Artists Association of Nantucket. We're just going to say a couple of quick words and then let the evening begin. So my part is to ask you to turn off your cell phones if you haven't done that already. And to mention that there's tea and cookies in the back corner. If you haven't found them, please help yourself. And um, just to say we're really excited about this collaboration. I love the idea of mixed forms of art and, and seeing where they intersect and seeing how they inspire the people who create it. So I hope that you're as excited as I am. So here's Liz Hunt. Thank you, Amy. Oh. It's a pleasure to be here tonight and to collaborate with the Athenaeum. Um, I uh, originally got this um, idea when I came across Buzz Williams' um, CD a couple of years ago, and he, I, I pull, it opened up into an accordion, and uh, each painting uh, was corresponded to a song, and, um, and then he talked in the CD about the relationship between music and art and inspiration, and I thought, wow, that's a great idea. And I bet there's a lot of other people out there who, I mean, I could think of them right away, who are also musicians and artists. And um, the more we talked and thought about it, we thought it'd be a great concert to show the inspiration, the interaction between the two. Um, but before I go any further, I cannot forget to thank, <laughs> first of all, Amy Janess, who was on board right away. We've been talking about it for a little while. And I can't think of a... <laughs> she is a reserve of calm in uh, any uh, moment you might need her to be <laughs> that. Um, but this is such a great space. I think it's one of the best places on Nantucket, especially for a concert with the acoustics. Um, I also want to thank the Community Foundation for Nantucket, who uh, generously support this event tonight. Uh, the Artists Association of Nantucket and uh, my colleagues there to help to foster this idea. Um, also want to point out that Carrie Hazelgrove put together this uh, show that you will see on the screen and that's her big screen there and her um, projection assistant Lydia Kristoff. Also we have, no this is like the Academy Awards, but uh, we also have um, a video camera from Channel 18, which is allowing us to videotape tonight. And um, so last but not least, I want to thank the artists, musicians, for their enthusiasm and for coming out tonight and uh, treating us all to their great talent. And um, I'm so happy to see all our fellow Nantucketers here too. So without further ado, Buzz Williams will be first, then Russell Wheeland, and then Carrie Hazelgrove and band. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Does, does this come through? Yeah, good. <laughs> it's good to see you uh, You wouldn't fit in my living room. <laughs> it's like We came up with the idea. I wanted to, I was curious about what other people saw in their music. Um, if you can imagine being in a class in second grade or something and, and having the teacher say, uh, Would you paint a picture of your song? <laughs> you know, and I bet you the kids could do it. It's hard for an adult to do that. It's like, we move through color, light, line, and form every day. Uh, we have a soundtrack we live our lives to. And every now and then, if we can stop it and get a picture of our surroundings 
in that way, then we've got something we can post our lives to. And so what I've done <laughs> is like I hear music when I, when I paint. And when I've got my hands in the paint, I'm a sloppy painter. When I've got my hands in the paint, it's full of music. And I just move it around until it says stop. I've got windows that I look out into my life through. Like Highway 82 is a blacktop dual lane that goes from Glenwood Springs up Independence Pass, right through Aspen and Carbondale, Basalt, Colorado. All the people have been up that road going to Aspen, man. It's like, yeah, dreams, and they get slippery when it's wet. <laughs> Harley Davidson coming up from the hot springs going home in some. You're having a party and you're going out and you're young and you're having a real good time. And sometimes you end up dancing with the things that eat light. And that's like turning on a boogie.
<laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, a quick story. There, I, I was in a bar one afternoon, and a bass player from a band came in, a friend of mine, and, and I, we were talking, and I said, man, I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, I don't feel very well. He said, hell, Buzz. He said, you're dying. I said, what? <laughs> he said, you're dying. I said, what do you mean? He said, you got terminal boogie. And I was like, so I went home and wrote the song. <laughs> and I remember that little thing pretty well. <laughs> it's like, it's called a Kitchen Chicken, but it goes with the soundtrack of Cracker, which is kind of like, you know, single wides and maybe got all the tires on it and girls and six packs and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit of hillbilly in everybody. <laughs> there's a, uh, I like, there's one of the cuts on the CD. It's uh, uh, Sarah and I got married about four years ago. And the whole day is, is a, a colors to me. I did a painting called Sarah's Dress, and it's like the ivory white with a little flower girl with the roses and all that kind of color, you know, and the, and the feeling goes with it, sort of like, you know, lace and kids and, you know, stuff that's the opposite of Terminal Boogie. <laughs>
<laughs> when a paint, um, it started with like warm ice cream <laughs> in a bowl with a spoon and you can push it around and make things. And um, I was on the job one day, a contractor, and I was on the job and, and uh, the sheetrocker left a pile of, of um, plaster on a piece of plywood. And I took a stick, a shingle, and I made some pictures in it and just pushed it around. And then I went home and got a piece of plywood and a gallon of paint <laughs> and dumped it on the, uh, on the plywood and started pushing it around with a putty knife. And that was like 25 years ago. And that's serious dress there, matter of fact. <laughs> so that's just pushing paint around and thinking about things. <laughs> uh, I've really I've enjoyed this myself it's like it's not often you just get to sit around and and you know let your brain drool <laughs> yeah without having to learn sets and songs and all that you know um, is there supposed to be a It's about half an hour, I guess, so. And uh, Russell? Sure. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't, I've never heard Russell. Uh, I've heard little bits and pieces, and it's funny. Um, Sarah and I had a little gallery, and Russell came in, his girlfriend, and, uh, and he was asking questions, and I thought, well, this guy, yeah, but he's real quiet, I guess, and he didn't say a whole lot more other than some really good questions. And then I was buying some paint, <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I, I could get paint by the gallon, of paint with latex, house paint. And uh, this guy was selling the paint. I went, ah, no wonder. <laughs> it's like, so anyway, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing what he sounds like. Thanks a lot. <laughs>
very technical setup I have going on here, and um, it's the first time I've performed with it, so that should be interesting. photographer and a mixed media artist as well as a musician and I had never really thought too much about how they all connected I guess until sort of thinking about it for this this event and um, I guess music and art to me is kind of sort of cinematic I guess my first uh, well my first love is music but um, filmmaking and all that sort of comes together music is almost the same thing to me as filmmaking and photography is also the same thing so I guess I'll uh, I'll play some play some songs <laughs> the song is called the healer Thank 
This song's called In the Valley of the Wind, and it's, uh, I wrote it sort of as a, a reimagining of a, to be the theme song for uh, this animated film, Nausicaa, uh, which I thought had a very uh, environmental message, very, uh, very modern, but it's a, I think the film is 20 years old or something. Anyhow. Um, some of the music I have um, coming out of here, I've created um, and I've turned it into loops that I'm sort of juggling.
This next song is called Accretion, um, which is, I understand is the, um, the creation of something through um, layer after layer, which is um, exactly how I do my mixed media. It's just like layer after layer, and I suppose that's how um, I record my music as well. Sorry, just thinking, okay. I wanna run away, I wanna run away 
Finch.
sing the song that needs to be the least raspy. This one's called Little Things. Hello, everybody.
everybody's talked about being an artist and a musician. Um, it's all, I think, the same for everybody, of being a visual artist and a singing artist. It certainly is for me. I've never s seen a difference in it. And um, these, we're going to be playing four songs that Andy and I wrote. And um, one of the, the last song that I'm going to sing with, the, with these guys um, is the last song in the production that I did that was an installation at the Whaling Museum and it was also shown at the Dreamland. And it's called Big Gray Moon. Andy and I had tried to get the rights to um, just record the, the song of um, Moonglow and it was going to be $2,000. So we decided to write our own song and this is the song that's at the end of the production. That was the extended version, which was the people section. So that's what we're going to end our little set with. And then I think we're going to open this up to questions and answers if anybody is interested. And also, I don't know if you notice this, but Russell's and Buzz's and my work is kind of, our um, paintings are alongside here, if you all want to take a gander. And I think um, Buzz and Russell have CDs in the back for sale if anybody's interested in purchasing a piece of this. And I've got the DVD of uh, my production that we did. I, that was an installation. Are you all right? No, there's nothing from there. We don't have any sound on Michael. <laughs> Is Miguel back there? Um, <laughs> got it. This first song is called Little Joe, and um, my cousin. His name is Little Joe, but the song has nothing to do with my cousin. Southside Virginia, apple blossom queen, and I worked for my daddy since I was 13. I got married neat the tree in my mama's front yard in the bend of the Allegheny down near Fancy Hill. I remember summer nights on those old mountain roads my head on his shoulder in the light of the radio the air hung thick with that franklin county heat the small of my bag it clung to his car seat oh little joe i feel like a weeping willow Standing alone on this mountain ridge of blue Oh, little Joe Staring out a broken window Oh, the years and the years and the years In my hand I hold a picture of little Joe And it was taken last Christmas in his best dressed blues standing so proud with his hair combed down fine his shiny brass buttons and his brown eyes on mine oh little joe i feel like a weeping willow 
Standing alone on this mountain ridge of blue A little Joe staring out a broken window Oh, the years and the years and the years On the back of my neck you can read my husband's name It's a blue tattoo out in the pouring rain it says little joe forever little joe forever little joe forever i'll be true Virginia's apple blossom queen and I work for my daddy since I was 13 I got married neath a tree in my mama's front yard in the bend of the Allegheny Dill near Fancy Hill a little Joe I feel like weeping willow standing alone on this mountain ridge of blue a little joe staring out our broken window oh the years and the years and the years oh the years and the years and the years oh the years and the years Thank you all. That's Christmas at Pollux. And that's where we are right now. Now what do you want to do? We do Highway 22. This song is called Highway 22. First time I laid eyes on you, I knew you'd break my heart. Your hair so black and your eyes so blue, you were trouble from the start. We met up at the Wayside Motel off of Highway 22. Your hair was black and your eyes so blue, I stayed hold up four days with you. I like to think you meant well it takes a leap of faith that's true i don't think you ever dreamed that i believed in you i believed in you cigarettes on the bedside table lipstick on my pillowcase i watch you sleep so peaceful now as the morning light streams in Oh, black bubble in this empty drawer The traffic's blowing by outside I miss those days in the motel room Lying by your side I like to think you meant well It takes a leap of faith, that's true I don't think you ever dreamed That I believed in you I believed in you. The motel signs got the mill burned out. That leaves tells her, tell me the truth. Do you think of me on a winter's night when you drive down Highway 22?
laid eyes on you, I knew you'd break my heart. Your crooked smile and your dusty boots, you were trouble from the start. <laughs> We got a place in Louisville, he's nice but he hates you I like to think you meant well, it takes a leap of faith, that's true I don't think you ever dreamed that I believed in you I believed in you Thank you all. This next song is called You're Guilty. It's called what? You're Guilty. <coughs> it's about a person I used to know. No one on the stage, I hope. <laughs> You're the hammer on my nail and the rock in my shoe The rope around my neck, you ain't saying nothing new You're an itch I can't scratch and a head with an ache Another bad cold cause you don't talk straight You got no clarity, no sincerity And you lie just like a pro What goes around comes around, you're guilty you're a lock with no key and a room with no door You're the crack in my window on the rug on your floor You're the heart of darkness at the end of my street If you're able to breathe and you're willing to cheat You got no clarity, no sincerity And you lie just like a pro What goes around comes around You're guilty you got your fingers crossed behind your back Walk a crooked mile with a heart so black In your dirty hands you hold your card so close To manage all your aces You ain't saying nothing new You're an itch I can't scratch And a head with an ache Another bad cold Cause you don't talk straight You got no clarity No sincerity And you lie just like a pro What goes around Comes around You're guilty What goes around Comes around you're guilty what goes around comes around you're guilty thank you all so much good we're into summer now um, again this last song is in the extended version that was playing at the dreamland and it's got all Nantucket um, people's faces on it. So imagine that when you're listening to this song. The good, the bad, and the other. <laughs> Everybody's good.
touch you under a big gray moon Hanging in the sky like a big balloon I looked at you, you looked at me Eyes as green as the summer sea Every turn reminds me of you the Rosa Ragosa and the sailboats too I lose these blues when I lose my shoes Thinking of you under the moon Oh, don't you miss me baby When you're feeling all alone Oh, are you thinking about me baby Walking on the cobblestones The days grow shorter and the nights go long I'm no longer singing that summer song I get these blues putting on my shoes Thinking of you under the moon Walking on the cobblestones The days grow shorter and the nights grow long I'm no longer singing that summer song I get these blues when I'm putting on my shoes Thinking of you under the moon I'm pining for you under the moon Dreaming of you and the big gray moon. Thank you all so much. Andy Bullington, Michael Kopko. Liz, you want to come up? Well, that was fantastic. Thank you to the musicians and artists and, <laughs> and to you, our fabulous audience. Um, really appreciate you coming out tonight. Um, like Carrie said, there are CDs, DVDs in the back and there are artwork around the wall. Thank you. Um, okay, so now we'll open it up for I've been working on these songs. I started last November and I uh, wanted to put something out. Actually, it was 2011. I wanted to put something out um, last summer, but I didn't get it finished till the fall. I would say the second to last song I just played, I, it actually came together in like two or three hours, but normally I keep working on it for, it could be between two hours and in years, I guess. <laughs> sure. Um, 
photography wise, I just go, I like my stuff to be as sort of, I respond to the photography being very different than what you just see normally. So I like it to kind of be otherworldly um, or unusual, I guess. And um, how that relates to music, I uh, only, the only thing I can think of right now is that whole cinematic thing. Um, that's that's a tricky one. Um, I don't know. I like bold colors and I guess bold sounds, but yeah. Yes. No, I have a family friend. I have a family friend right here, actually. Um, it's uh, my girlfriend's dad is a pilot, so um, he nicely takes me up for some uh, aerial shots. It's too scary. I don't think I would. I don't want to be in control of a plane. <laughs> I use house paint because it's uh, uh, twenty five dollars a gallon versus yeah, twelve dollars a tube. Uh, no, but, I mean it's like I like I I'm a sloppy painter and I don't I use um, uh, flat edges like um, uh, big putty knives and pieces of aluminum and stuff that I that I cut up. And so there's a lot of paint going on. <laughs> and if I had to yeah, take it out of a tube, I use the tube paints for uh, highlights and stuff like that. But, uh, but most of it's, uh, most of it's uh, house paint. <laughs> Hold on to it. I'll, I'll make a quick one. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I came of age in the '60s, you know, and I, uh, I don't regret any of it. Tell you the truth, <laughs> and um, from '67, I, I came out of the Navy in '67, went straight to Aspen, Colorado, and it happened to be the summer of love. And I mean, the East Coast met the West Coast there, and all that stuff happened. And so for the next four or five years, I didn't see anything but color and light. And, you know, I was like, <laughs> and the problem was to slow it down enough to be able to catch it, you know? And uh, <laughs> so years later, and thankfully with still a remnant of a brain, uh, I, can, I can frame this stuff and, and put it on uh, sometimes in words and sometimes in in, uh, in paint and, and music and whatever, and it's all mixed together. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that, actually. <laughs> I can't keep anything straight. Um, photographically, Nantucket has been my inspiration. Molly, that's my inspiration. And I started singing when I was about 18. And um, I guess I've sung on, on and off. I've, known my husband as long as I've been you know I've been alive practically we grew up together in Virginia and I've been playing music with Michael for 32 years on and off I know I'm not that old <laughs> but um I don't, I don't really have any specific inspirations except for just living um I think uh, my parents were really responsible for my um, artistic sort of nurturing and um, supposedly, um, you know, when I was like a baby, they would put me in the middle of some speakers and play classical music and stuff. So I'll say maybe that. 
Um, but I just always like music and I take influences from everything and same, I'll steal Nantucket too. I mean, my, a lot of my photography, I got really back into photography when I moved out here about seven years ago. And I don't know, that's about it. <laughs> Andy and I wrote all those songs together. Yeah. Thanks. Hell no. <laughs> Well, and my painting, the painting has always been in a class with Sherry Ray. So there was just a lot of gossip going on. So there was no music. <laughs> um, and photographically, these pictures behind, um, you know, my picture taking is probably the most insular aspect of my life. It's completely alone. And it's a time where I am so focused on what my brain sees. And so, the only crossover that the music has had for me photographically has been filling a void for my production work and not wanting to spend $2,000 to use the actual notes of a song. So I wrote our, we wrote our own damn song. <laughs> um, I, I really like um, doing the mixed media um, sort of artwork. That's what I'm sort of getting more and more into. And I really like it too because I can, I can listen to just, I do like to listen to music while I do it, but it's not anything specific. It's not, I don't listen to my own music um, while I'm creating like that, but I do listen to a lot of my own music, but just sort of to like figure it out. But, and I love going out, um, just with like my iPod with headphones and taking photographs. I, I don't really think of it as, it's sort of like, it's just sort of just get into a sort of mode and I guess it do, probably does influence what you do, but they definitely work together well, I think. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a soundtrack and I'm, I've I've gotten to the point where I uh, I listen to whatever it is all the time. I mean, I can be out playing golf and I'm humming something that'll be keep me in four four times so that I don't get too crazy with a golf swing or whatever. But I I live to a soundtrack, and uh, uh, when I paint, uh, in between, I'll, I'll paint for twenty minutes at a time, maybe a little more. And then I'll just sit and play guitar for a while. And so it, they feed each other. And um, I like the guitar because I like the, the notes, they fly away. Uh, with the paint, they get stuck. But it, like the, the globs of paint are notes, you know? And, and, and when, the, when I'm playing, it, it's like watching flocks of birds just taking off. And you know you're not going to see them land. You know, they, they're out there somewhere, but you're never going to see them touch down. And I like that aspect. And with it, with the painting, I can catch a few of them. <laughs> I 
Thank you all so much. And I want to give a special thank you to Lydia. Christoph has been back there manning the projector. And um, everybody, have a great night. Love March. <laughs>